Hello dear friends, this is your old Humphreys and I'm here in my study, my home to share with you about a 10 minute message on the Bible and I want you to know that I'm praying for you I don't know you but I, I know that you're there God knows you and He knows that you're listening and I'm speaking to you and I praise God the Lord loves you and I love you and I pray God now the Word will be your strength for today uh, I'm reading on, in regard to a, a subject that I've entitled uh, for this short message that Christians, all Christians, are missionaries. We that are Christians are missionaries. We think of a missionary, we think of usually a person that goes around over and, uh, across the ocean to another country and, uh, and uh, gives his life to teaching in a strange land and that's true. Many times this happens. But a missionary can be at home. You can be a missionary and go uh, not across the ocean, but just across the street to tell somebody about Jesus. You see, a missionary is one that goes out and tells the good news. The good news is that Jesus Christ has come into the world, has redeemed us at the cross, has risen from the grave, and has gone back to heaven, and he's coming back one day, and he loves you very much. And your sins are all forgiven when you believe in Him as your Lord and your Savior. And the Bible says over in 2 Corinthians, in the, in the fifth chapter of 2 Corinthians, uh, something that we, we need to, to recognize, and that is, and then verse 14, For the love of Christ constrains us and compels us because He died for all. The love of Christ compels us to tell others about Him. The one reason, one of the big reasons that I'm preaching these messages on the YouTube and that I've been preaching for 63 years, praise the Lord. One of the reasons is because of the love of Christ. It compels me. When I consider the love He had for me when He went to that cross and died such a horrible death and suffered the anguish of hell until finally the debt was paid for all my sins and then he, he gave up his life three days later he rose from the grave hallelujah and he did all that for you my dear friend he did it for you because he loved you that much and so the love of Christ compels us to go forward wherefore henceforth there we are to know that uh, <clears throat> if any man be in Christ he's a new creation Old things have passed away and all things have become new. When you're saved by the grace of God, you're different. And you think different, you act different, you talk different, you are different. Because the Lord changes your heart. He gives you a new heart. And that new heart is a heart that is evidenced by the way you live and think and talk. It is remarkable how the way of God will help you make the right decisions after you become a Christian. And you will understand that you still fall and make mistakes. I know I do, and I have to say, Lord, forgive me. But praise God, my face is toward the cross and toward heaven, and I'm going on. I've got a home over yonder, and you have too. And we're going in the right direction, and we're going to keep going. And so, praise God, we are manifested as the Holy Spirit in us, and that Spirit of God is revealed unto others. The Bible says that we are become new creatures, new creation. And all things are of God who has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. So you see he's given us, he's reconciled us to God. Jesus did that on the cross and on the res or in his resurrection. He reconciled God, holy God and a sinful man. He reconciled God to you and to me. We're reconciled. There is no problem now. God can put His arms around us and say, I love you because now the debt has been paid. His justice has been satisfied. On the cross, Jesus paid for our sins. He rose again and His righteousness is given to us and therefore God is satisfied. He sees Christ in us. The Bible says in this last verse, for He made Jesus to be sin for us that He, we, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. You see, we are made righteous in Christ 
and he has become sin for us. Oh, what a what a bargain! We what a bargain! We exchange places with Christ. He took our sins, and we are given his righteousness. And so it's important for us to know this and to understand it, and to know that that these words follow. Now then, we have a ministry of reconciliation, and that's why we are the missionaries. We're to tell others the good news, whoever, wherever, maybe the people out where we work, maybe the family, maybe the, your neighborhood, maybe, maybe just friends, whoever, whoever, oh, you need to tell them about Jesus. You certainly need to tell your enemies about him if you have any. You need to tell the world about Jesus. You need to tell the world that he saves and he redeems. Go, praise God, and tell that story. And then it says that we are ambassadors for Christ. That as God, we would beseech you in Christ's stead, be reconciled to God. We beseech you to be reconciled to God through Christ. It's our job as, as ambassadors for Christ. We're ambassadors. You know what an ambassador is. Say an ambassador uh, is, uh, from speaking here, I happen to be an American, and uh, say that I'm uh, we have an ambassador in Russia. He is uh, he's an ambassador for the United States in Russia. Now that, that person represents the United States, even though he's not living here. He's living in a strange land. He's living among a people whose dialect he, he has to learn. He's living in a people that with a different culture and a different background because he is an ambassador in a strange land. So it is with Christians. We are ambassadors for Christ. You see, this whole world is a fallen world. And when you're redeemed by the blood and you're saved by grace and you're bought, brought into the presence of Jesus and His love is in your heart, then you don't fit in with the world anymore. You don't agree with the world and the world don't agree with you anymore. Out there in the world, the unbelieving world, there is very little agreement with any part of your life as a Christian. Everything is practically, uh, practically, obviously separated to the point where it's opposite from what you believe and what you feel now. And so we need to see we're in a strange world. We're pilgrims in a strange land. But we are living here because the Lord has changed us and we are to represent Him. Now an ambassador, say an ambassador for Russia, he represents the President of the United States. Christians, you and I represent the President of Heaven and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. We represent Him. So that means what we do, we ought to do that will please Him. That means the things we say, we ought to say that believe it will please Him. That means the way we live, we ought to live in a manner that would please Him. And this will certainly please Him when you do these things. Ambassadors for Christ. An ambassador is one that represents another country. We represent uh, the Russian, the ambassador represents the United States. But we represent as Christians the kingdom of God right here on this earth. We represent the kingdom and so we, we have to consider the fact that we're in the kingdom and actually heaven, the kingdom of heaven. And we represent that and so we ought to leave a, live uh, appropriately. Our lives should be such that somehow it would point toward the things of God and the things that are good and right and the things that are of heaven. Finally, the ambassador over there in Russia, he lives in Russia, but he looks forward to the time when his work is finished and he can come home. And so it is with you, dear friend, and me. We are ambassadors for Christ. Our job is down here to serve the Lord, but we're looking forward to that day when we're going home. Going home, going home to be with God. Going home to be with the Lord forever. Going home to be with Him. Praise the Lord. I'm so grateful that the gospel of God sets us free. And we are free indeed when we walk by faith with Jesus and become ambassadors for Christ. So therefore, every Christian, every Christian is actually a missionary. Praise the Lord. Bear that message. Tell somebody, live your life daily to please God. You're going home. In Jesus' name, amen.